Yeah, you look very cute this morning. Look at you. So cute. Is Dada gonna make you some lunch? While mommy films? What else is in there? This is like a what's in my bag. <laughs> You know what's funny? This is what Mia went for in my last video, and now Sophia wants to get into this bag. Don't you? Oh, that's mama's. That is mama's. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Fashion Friday and also happy Valentine's Day. It's really exciting I get to upload on the day of pink and you guys know how much I love pink. And I thought I would first off start by saying I just made myself a coffee. Very much needed this morning. Uh, but, and also the girls were in my room earlier and I had to clean up yet another mess. But I thought today, that's why I felt so weird. I've actually filmed this intro like 10 times already and I was wondering why it felt so weird. And it's basically because I have not done a sit down video in a long time. It has actually been a while and it's because I've had so many vlogs go up because life's been crazy and I've been wanting to share so much of like the home content with you and just like daily stuff going on around my house. So today I get to have some fun and sit down and chat with you guys about one of my most favorite videos I have been dying to do and that is the best and worst luxury purchases. And I am actually doing this video with a good friend of mine, Tanya. So if you guys don't know who Tanya is, Tanya is one of my personal favorite YouTubers. And she's also a lover of pink and handbags and shoes and everything girly imaginable. And also she has a gorgeous beauty room space. And I know she does a ton of videos of like cleaning and organizing. And I know if you like mine, you'll love her. So definitely check her out. And I'm really excited to watch her video on this as well. I'm sure it's going to be very, very awesome and entertaining, just like all of her videos are. So I can go on and on about Tanya, but she's also a very authentic and real person that I talk to all the time on Instagram. So she is honestly one of the sweetest girls I have met here. So I'm really happy to know her. So definitely check her out and I'm sure she's having her her coffee too. Uh, we're both coffee lovers, but today's video is going to be a really awesome one because I feel like there's so much to tell you guys about some of my purchase regrets. And of course, everybody has regrets and not everybody loves every single thing they've ever bought. So we're going to get into that right now. But if you're new to my channel, then definitely subscribe before you guys go. I'd love to have you join the fam for Fashion Friday Makeup Monday videos and also all these vlogs that I have going up and I can see you guys are really enjoying them. So thank you so, so much. If there are any videos you'd like to see, leave a comment down below to let me know and let's get started. All right, so I thought I would start off with one of my best and it's actually right now, if you're wondering why I don't have a lot of my handbags out, it's because I have them all hidden away and basically we are selling our house right now so it has been very difficult for me to try to leave everything like not cluttered and clean and that is why I just like have left half of my handbags in their dust bags to keep them safe and I don't want to have like too many valuables out and everything even though I, I still do I don't want to have like them all up so I had to get for the sake of this video I had to get them all out just to share with you but I feel like this was a video that I really wanted to do so right here most of you will already know what this is because it is my last or my latest luxury purchase right here in my little box it's like a little unboxing I'm doing right now if the girls were in the room they would be trying to get into this they love like anything small like box they like boxes more than like they like toys it's honestly so crazy to me uh, but it is my gold hoop Louis Vuitton earrings and these you guys 
Oh. I love these so, so much. And I think you know, since I came out with my own jewelry case, how much I actually love jewelry. And I feel like it was that one thing I don't share all that often, but I'm going to be sharing a lot more of like my favorite pieces to wear because these are my absolute favorite. These are just stunning to wear on and I feel like they're that statement piece that I sometimes need when I don't have a lot of time to get ready and boom, I put these on and it's like, whoa. And they honestly too are not heavy at all. I don't like wearing heavy earrings and I don't like when they outstretch my ears. I do not have that problem at all. If I do wear these for like six or seven hours, like all day, I wore them when we were in Calgary uh, looking at our build and I they were getting tired or tiring but to wear on. But I mean, just don't wear them for that long. And I feel like these would be the perfect date night earrings. And I just love them. I think they're so pretty and unique and different. And I have never seen earrings like this, like designer earrings like this. And I have even looked at Chanel right now, some of their 2020 pieces, and I don't know, nothing is like stood out to me. So these I knew I wanted because I wanted these for about six months or longer. And I remember telling you guys and showing you pictures. And so many of you guys were saying either get a backpack or get the earrings for my birthday. I ended up going with the backpack, but I'm so happy I bought these because these have honestly been my favorite piece of jewelry to wear. So next item I have here is a worst and I was actually just talking about it. So you probably already know what it is, but it is my Prada backpack, my deflated Prada backpack. And I remember telling you guys how excited I was to get this and see it in the store. And I did see it stuffed, like it had so much tissue in it. I, you know, I went inside the bag and everything. I didn't think it would lose its shape so much after taking out all of like the stuffing, the inside tissue, but it really is like, a collapsible bag and that is just not something I like. I like I personally like really structured bags. So if you have this bag, I mean, it could totally be for someone else. But for me, it's just, I feel like I haven't gravitated towards it just because I do like structured bags a little bit more in the sense of backpacks. So like say a Louis Vuitton bag definitely are more structured, a Chanel one. This Prada one is just not and it's flimsy. So I just have not had a chance to wear this and love it as much as I've wanted to for what I paid for it. So this would definitely have to be on my worst list. So going back to best, which is my my new favorite um, pair of shoes right here, which I have had these for a while, and they are my Lubus, my only ones that I own, and it's like the patent pink color, and these are honestly my favorite pair of shoes to display. Not so much wear, I have to admit, these are not comfortable whatsoever. <laughs> if you're planning on wearing them out for like a long night, do not because it's going to be very painful uh, but I think they're great like if you're going on a date night you don't have to do too much walking then it's okay but these are my absolute favorite I think they're so great for decor because they just stand out so much I know visually when I walk in this room it's usually the shoes and the handbags that I'm looking at so I feel like these in my new closet is just going to be a bang on statement piece and uh, I'm so excited I actually said this in my last vlog that I did that they are designing me an entire area for just shoes where they kind of like lean a little bit up like or they they go upwards so you can actually visually see all the shoes very clearly uh, and I feel like I only have I want to say like 10 pairs of heels so it's going to be a problem with displaying them because it's not going to look full enough so I definitely am trying to find other shoes that kind of look like Lubu's and are more price friendly so I have seen ones which are House of CB that I've purchased so all the other ones that I have back there are House of CB and honestly you guys they look the same they honestly wear just as good and they're just not red bottoms that's all but they are really beautiful so if you're looking for some that are similar definitely check them out but these would have to be one of my favorite pairs of shoes and i just love the color so so much these right here are definitely under my worst luxury purchase but i have had these i want to say for the last seven years I got these both before I even knew Ryan so it's been a while that I've had these so they are still in pretty good condition and basically these are Michael Kors watches by the way if you're like what are those but they are very bulky watches and I feel like I've grad or gravitated towards really nice dainty pieces of jewelry including watches and like thin ones like the Vincero ones I really like because they're thin these are just so bulky for my tiny little arms and I could never even wear these with the girls like they'd be so bulky I wouldn't want to like boom hit them in the face with this thing because this is heavy and clunky and just so big if you're into this kind of jewelry I mean, it's no offense to you. I just, 
I don't wear these a lot and I think it's because they are so bulky and being a mom now it just I can't wear this heavy thing because I've already got like 40 pounds in my arms right so that's basically the only reason why but uh, as for like rose gold watches these pieces are beautiful pieces that Michael Kors came out with and I mean these are expensive but I don't wear them at all anymore so they would definitely have to be on my worst list so if you guys watched my what's in my handbag it was actually with this bag that I have right here so this is definitely one of my all-time favorite luxury purchases and I actually got this one pre-loved. So this one right here, why I love it so much too, it's Louis Vuitton. I love the print design, top handle. I love everything about this bag, but I also love how much it fits. Like I can fit my, if you watch that video, I can, and I actually posted a photo on my Instagram if you want to check that out too. And I know everyone was like, okay, can you do a what's in my bag? Because you have so much stuff in your bag. So I had my full makeup bag. I had my laptop. I had my wallet. I had pass, like anything can fit in here. It's honestly one of the most awesome bags I've ever purchased because it's so useful. And I love a bag that can fit my laptop because sometimes, which I've been doing a lot of right now, I bring bringing my laptop to like Ryan's parents and doing work there uh, when we have showings and stuff like that. So it's just a manageable bag and I love the size. <laughs> the girls are screaming because they're excited. Uh, <laughs> we're about to take them outside after I film, but this is the inside here. So it does come with a crossbody bag uh, strap as well. So if you wanted to do a crossbody, if you wanted to hold it as a top handle, there's just so many options uh, with this bag. And I love having variety. I love doing different things, wearing bags different ways. I think that's awesome. I also love how it has a zipper for the middle part. So if you had like anything like your passport or anything more valuable, you could put it in there. So this bag, honestly, I'll leave a link down below. I know Louis Vuitton does have some like newer styles that they've launched. I've also seen it in like the patent pink, like ballerina pink. So I love this. This is like their matte pink, but I just love this bag so much. It really is my ultimate like girly girl pink handbag. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this would have to be on my worst list. And these are actually not that old. I got these, I want to say... It was when we went to Santa Monica, I can't even remember, maybe, was that a year and a half ago, two years? You guys would probably know since I uploaded that trip, but these here, I remember how excited I was in the store to get these, and I think more so than ever, like, when I think of these, I think of the memories we had at Santa Monica and, like, how much fun we had, so that's the thing for me, I end up buying stuff because if I'm on a trip or something like that, like, it's just so meaningful to me that I'll end up purchasing something. So that's why it's dangerous when I go into these stores when I'm on holidays or vacation and Ryan always tries to convince me not to, but it just happens. So I ended up buying these and I wish the thing that I don't like about these is I didn't think it'd be too visible seeing the red when I wear them with my toes, but you definitely can. And I don't like red and pink together. It's just been like two colors that I just do not like putting together. If this was like maybe a nude or, an, or a white even, or just like all pink, I definitely think I would love these a lot more than I do. And basically that is the only reason why they aren't that comfortable either. This is more of like a dressy flat uh, sandal. So yeah, they definitely were expensive as well. I wanna say like maybe the most I've spent on shoes. And then it has the lock, which I do love. Like a lot of my handbags with Louis Vuitton have the lock, like Locky BB. Uh, but yeah, I would have to say these would have to be on my worst list. I need a little sip of coffee. That is the one thing I always forget to do whenever I'm filming. I forget to actually drink my coffee. Uh, but right here we have, this one is definitely one of my best purchases and this is my Joe Malone fragrance in Peony and Blush Suede. So I've talked to you a lot about this fragrance that I bought and I want to say the bottle, I'm going to leave it on the screen actually, the price. I think it's around $250, something like that. It's expensive for a fragrance, definitely the most I've ever spent on a fragrance. But now I'm so happy that I did invest into purchasing a Jo Malone because they last so long on the skin, you guys, and one spray and like you smell good for the next like five hours, which is like what I need because I'm usually always moving and on the go and I need to smell fresh. <laughs> 
So, I mean, I love it. It's such, this is the perfect spring scent. It smells so springy to me and floral and fresh and just like beautiful. It's a beautiful scent and I love it. I've seen it on a lot of people's channels. I know it's probably one of the number one rated fragrances on Jo Malone, but anytime I try out a fragrance, I have to try it out myself. Sometimes it wears differently on my skin and I definitely have to try it out before purchasing it, especially if it's $200 and up. So I love this. Definitely go get a sample. I know Sephora sells it as well, so I, I love this. And I thought I would show you as well. It does come in two other sizes. So this one I got from Sephora, which is the 100 ml. And then also the tiny little baby one. I actually got this for free when I purchased the bottle on the website. So that's also another option, but really good for travel. Like if you don't want to bring an entire fragrance bottle, which I highly recommend you don't, then get just like a little mini one. I also see Sephora does it sometimes and they're like 250 points. So I actually just got back from outside because I wanted to take a few photos with the girls in their little outfit. So I got this really funny photo and this is definitely like the ultimate twin photo because it's usually how it is. One crying, one smiling, like laughing at her. So such a funny photo that I wanted to share. And that's Sophia that's crying and then Mia's smiling and laughing. So, oh, so funny. But anyways, I wanted to continue with uh, some of my, this is another one of my best actually. So these shoes right here were my birthday shoes and I've worn them a lot on like our date nights and it definitely is a more dressy shoe and it's nice because they stand out so much. So if I want to go with just kind of like a basic dress and I throw these on, it just makes me look so done up. So I really love things like that now, uh, just like the earrings. So this is Jeffrey Campbell and it has basically like sparkles all over the shoe and it's so glittery and sparkly I think these shoes stand out so so much and I also love how comfortable they are so it's really important to be comfortable for date night so these are comfy love them so so much they definitely are one of my favorites all right so I had to pull up a few more things that I wanted to talk about and of course I have my Neverfull which I want to say this is probably one of the most used bags that I have and I have been thinking about getting, what is it called? The other bag, it's massive with Louis Vuitton, but it's more structured. This one's a little bit more like flimsy. You can fit so much stuff. I don't really wanna show you the inside of my bag right now. It's a little crazy as you can see, uh, but lots of stuff going on in here. I've got even a little, little sandwich. So lots of stuff. Uh, but I definitely love this bag and I use it all the time and I wanted to get on to, and you've heard me talk about that so much, so that's why I'm not mentioning it or talking about it more in the video. But I did want to share with you one of my all-time favorite smaller bags. So this right here, it's actually the same bag with the gold chain, and it's just in two different colors. Why I did that, I've had this bag for, I want to say, eight years, and it's one of my very first luxury bags I've ever purchased. And then also this one right here, I purchased more recently, the last few years, and of course, it was because the color, it's so pretty. But I've said this and I'll say it again, this is the most useful bag that I have like ever owned. And I'm talking just like a small bag so it can fit my cards, it can fit your phone, and it can also fit your lipstick, your mints, and that's basically all you need. Like if I'm running out to get groceries, that's what I will have in my bag. And I'll throw my phone into my bag and it fits in here. So that is why I love it so much. It also comes with two other slots, like for cards and stuff, I don't really use them, but I love the fact that it can fit my phone with no issues. So that is also a very big plus for me. I love the fact you can also wear it as a crossbody or you can decide to wear it as a clutch. Uh, just like this for like a more fancy date night or something like that. There's so many options with this bag and it also is not that expensive, which I find it pretty crazy that you get two inserts in here. And I want to say, I know the Canadian pricing is so different. I want to say it's around maybe like 1400, uh, but it may be more or less. I'm not sure. I'll have to look, but you get two inserts. So you get one for your cards in cash, you get one for change or whatever you wanna use this for receipts, but like that's a lot of stuff you get in just a small tiny bag. Usually you have to buy this stuff separately. So I mean, I definitely highly recommend if you are looking for a small wallet on chain sort of style bag, definitely go for this one. I think it's awesome. So the next would have to be a worst, but I know you're probably all like surprised to see one of my iridescent pink pieces 
on the worst list, but uh, it's only basically because I bought everything else in the collection and I don't use this. That is the only reason why. Uh, so I did buy like the wallet on chain. I bought the phone bag, which is also like a small, you can use it as a wallet or like a crossbody bag, which I think I like that more than this because I can't use this as a purse. I like the functionality of using a wallet as a handbag as well which is why I like Wallet on Change, or Wallet on Change, Wallet on Change, Wallet on Chain. Wow, I cannot talk right now. Uh, a lot better than Wallet. So I do like having some wallets here and there, but if I had to choose between using one or the other, I would definitely say Wallet on Chain. And yeah, I don't know. I just don't use this wallet as much. It, I mean, this collection is beautiful and I have hardly use this. So, I mean, if I ever wanted to sell it one day, I have kept it in like awesome condition, uh, but I just don't use it. That is basically why it's on this list. Okay, so back to the best. I have it in another box. I'm grabbing everything out as I'm talking about it because I have everything locked up right now, put away, but uh, this right here is my bracelet that I got in my nails. I'm so sorry, my nails are not done. That is why I'm trying really hard not to show them too, too much, but uh, yeah, I, Oh, I love this bracelet so much. It's so dainty, small, petite, and lightweight. I like cannot wear one of those Michael Kors watches with the girls. I would love to wear something like this. And I just feel like this is just really elegant and like a timeless piece. So really happy I bought this. It was a great price too. It was my first piece of jewelry that I got from Louis Vuitton. So also something sentimental. And I got it when I was in Santa Monica too. So another trip. I would say like 80% of my handbags and luxury goods are when I was on trips. So I can literally be like, okay, my Alma bag, that was when I went to, you know, to Maui. This is when I went to so-and-so. And I always remember like my luxury goods from the trips I've been on. So it is very like sentimental to me at the same time, which is why I don't really sell a lot of my stuff because I still think on those memories. And I'm so big, I'm such a, a junkie for memories. Like I love, you know, scrapbooking and just when I even, and I obviously love luxury items so, so much, uh, but it's nice to actually think back to memories and, you know, it have that special, special factor to it too. So I have that. I'm trying to think if there is anything else luxury that like, obviously, you know, I love everything basically that's up in my closet. There are certain things that I do regret or I don't love as much, but there's nothing that I truly hate. Like, I've never bought something where I'm like, oh, I hate it after. Like, I do love everything that I have, and I'm also very fortunate. And uh, I definitely believe if you work hard for the things you want, uh, you can achieve it. And that is kind of like where my head is always at when I buy something that's luxury. And of course, you know, luxury goods are expensive. Don't get me wrong, they are expensive. And I would also say, I did want to mention, my car is also something that I truly love. Uh, which Ryan helped me pick it out when I first got my car. So that is the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. I cannot talk right now. I'm like, bleh. I'm like all muttering. But uh, yeah, that would definitely be another one of my luxury favorites. Uh, but I feel like I did go through a majority of things that I really like. I will show you a little bit more in my collection of just kind of vlog style a little bit in this video because I always love doing a little bit of a vlog uh, and showing you a little bit what I have right now set up in my on my shelves and like what I've been really loving lately. So I will show you guys that right after. Uh, but yeah, that was everything that I wanted to share with you for today's video and the things that I kind of like picked out to talk about. So I hope you liked it. Also, before I forget, I wanted to share a few photos that we took the other day with the girls, their first time in the snow. And I wore this beanie, so I mixed it up. I wore the white palm up here and then with the pink. So I thought it looked really good for photos and then I put them in the white and pink ones as well and just switched the colors, but they looked so cute. It has still been really cold. It snowed a little bit here today. And I'm like, we're still in February and I'm like, where is the spring weather? I don't think it'll hit here until maybe March, but yeah, I it was just so cute. I had to share some photos with you. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me because I have so many like life updates and just like, that is the place to be if you're not watching all of my videos, definitely catch me on my Insta stories because I'm on there all the time. I don't actually have my drawers right now full because as I told you, our house is staged, so I don't leave everything out. But the other thing I did want to share with you guys that I love so, so much are my coffee table books. So these ones here, like my Louis Vuitton, which I got at Chapters. I also have a Chanel one. I have down here, 
a Vogue, a Chanel, like these just really come in handy to dress up your beauty space or your closet, your walk-in closet, whatever you have, your bedroom even, like you can put these anywhere. I find that these coffee, or coffee table books are so perfect for all over your house and I know I'm going to be putting a ton in our new home too. I want to get the Tom Ford one, uh, but I wanted to show you that I even have like they're really everywhere so I feel like I just had to mention them in this video for something that is one of my best because I use them all the time they're everywhere and then these three I know you've seen and actually one of my good friends Karen she bought these uh, the other day which I was so excited to see them with her because they're so cute they're just from Amazon so if you want to grab one I will leave a link down below but we have the Paris one the Coco Chanel so those are definitely things that I have always loved displaying in my space. Even right down here with my my not-so-loved Louis Vuitton sandals, uh, but right here we have all three books, so Chanel, Chanel, and then Kate Spade, and I love the Kate Spade book as well. I think it's such a pretty pink to display, and then I think the bottom two I actually got from Amazon as well. The other thing I thought I would share with you are my shoes right here, so I've actually left them out for display for a while now, which I really like them being out here. They're not shoes that I wear. I'm going to start by saying that because they are so high, but these were from my wedding. So I had these for like photos and I didn't wear them on my wedding day, but I had them for like the photos with um, all of my props and stuff in my wedding dress. So they are very sentimental to me and I feel like sometimes it is worth having a pair of shoes like that that are meaningful, especially on your wedding day. So I love keeping them here and keeping them out. And it also kind of goes with the Bath & Body Works candle holder that I have too, so. Last thing I wanted to talk about before I'm finishing up with this video is if you do have a baby girl, I really high, highly recommend getting her one of these. So they're little, little obviously fake Chanel bags, but I think that they're so cute. So my, my friend actually got the girls one of their own, so I'm waiting to give them these, but obviously these are so cute for a nursery and I think I'll have them in the girls' closets once I'm done those, but I just thought those would be really cute to show you guys. I do have them just in here for now and oh, they're so cute and obviously hopefully that'll help them not play with mommy's bags that much if they have their own <laughs> but i'll leave a link down below she has a really cute shop all right you guys so that was today's video and i really i'm just so happy that i collaborated again with tanya i really love her channel and also her so much we talk i want to say like every day so she is very sweet and such a genuine person so definitely go subscribe to her channel if you guys haven't i hope you enjoyed today's video i had so much fun doing it i feel like just to bring these items out again and have them in my room. I was so happy. I feel like they've been away for so long now. And these are just things that I love, that I've worked hard for, and that I value and appreciate. So I'm glad I could share this with you. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item from today's video was. Also, what is your best and worst? I would love to know in the comments down below. Head there now, let me know so we can chat. You guys know I always comment back to you. Uh, but the next video, I promise, on Monday is going to be a vlog. So really excited for that. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I will see you guys in my next video.